Are you looking to bring your titles to life? In this video, I'll show you five simple text effects that you can create right now in Premiere Pro. From animating to adding a drop shadow or even a neon glow. To start, add your text to the timeline using the text tool or pressing T. With the text selected, head over to the properties panel. If you don't see it, you can find it under window properties. Once there, select the graphic you'd like to animate. To create an animation, scroll down to the align and transform section and create a keyframe by clicking the small diamond next to position or scale. Next, move the playhead to where you want the animation to end, adjust the values and Premiere will automatically create a second keyframe. This gives your text smooth motion with linear resizing. To create a fade effect, select your text in the timeline and go to the properties panel. Scroll to the opacity option under align and transform, then use keyframes to control when the text fades in or out. For a fade out, set your starting keyframe opacity to 100%. Then move the playhead to where you'd like the fade to end and set the opacity to zero. For a fade in, simply reverse this process, starting at zero and ending at 100%. Adjust the distance between the keyframes to control the fade speed. To create a typing effect, select your text, then apply the linear wipe effect from the effects panel. In the effects controls panel, set the wipe angle to 270 degrees, so the text reveals from left to right. Then adjust the transition completion keyframes, starting at 100% where the text is fully hidden, and reduce it to 0% over time so the text can be fully revealed. This effect will get you close to a physical typewriter, but it's not perfect because you can see the letters fade in rather than just appearing. If you're looking for a true typewriter effect, then you could find an effects template for it and thousands more on Storyblocks. With our plugin for Adobe Creative Cloud, you don't even need to leave Premiere Pro while searching. Just pull up the plugin, search for the effect, and download it. Once downloaded, the Mogurts will automatically be installed into the template library within the graphics templates window. To add drop shadows to your text, open the properties panel and make sure that you have the text selected. Then scroll down to the appearance section and select the checkbox next to shadow. You can then customize the opacity, angle, distance, weight, and softness of the shadow. Typically, increasing the softness gives the shadow a more subtle and professional look. To create a neon glow effect, you'll need to apply the drop shadow effect multiple times, which you won't be able to do if you use the properties panel. Instead, start by adding the effect from within the effects panel under video effects, perspective, drop shadow. Once it's added, open the effects controls panel and change the shadow color to a neon color of your choice. Bright blue, pink, green, whatever you'd like. Then set the opacity to 100% and the distance to zero. Next, duplicate the drop shadow effect two more times, and on each layer, increase the softness to amplify the glow. For example, set the first shadow softness to 50, the second to 100, and the third to 200. This layering gives the text a vibrant, glowing neon effect. Again, this is a great basic glow, but if you want to achieve even better results in less steps, check out some of the neon glow text templates we have over at Storyblocks. And there you have it, five ways to create text effects in Premiere Pro. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and head over to storyblocks.com for unlimited downloads of royalty-free 4K footage, templates, music, and more.